guys, this is Sam from Crasscast, and we're at D3 Publishing, and we're testing out Ben 10 Omniverse for the PS3, Xbox 360, Wii, DS, and 3DS. So I'm assuming this is a retail game? Yes. It and is, and uh, actually this is the brand new TV show for coming out on Cartoon Network this fall called Ben 10 Omniverse. So this is the very first official video game for that brand new series. Um, nice. Just to give uh, you a little heads up on the, tel on the cartoon, this is the fourth iteration of the Ben 10 franchise for the cartoon. So Ultimate Aliens wrapping up, this is the Omniverse, the new one, the new series. So they've revamped the look of the cartoon as well as the game, so we have a nice sort of tune shaded look. Nice, you like cell shade look. Cell shade look. Um, brand new alien forms as well. Here's one of them called Shock Squatch. Shock Squatch. So a sort of a Sasquatch looking character and actually he discharges electricity. Nice. He has a brand new partner from the television show as well that's coming out. His name is Rook. Alright. So he's graduated from the Plumber's Academy and he's basically learning from Ben how to become a hero. Alright. So, uh... Is this going to feature co-op so someone could play as Rook? Yes, so right now a Rook is AI assisted obviously, but we will have a co-op element. So drop in, drop out local co-op. So at any time your friend can jump in as Rook and assist you in battle. Alright, is there any plan for a UK release? Yes, actually it'll be released here in North America as well as Europe. At the uh, same time? Uh, we're trying to we're trying to sim ship at the same time coming this holiday. Alright, cool. Any other features you'd like to talk about? Absolutely. Um, 13 alien characters to choose from and unlock all returning aliens like Heat Blast and Wild Mutt, as well as brand new characters like Shock Squatch, Blocks, Grab Attack, Feedback. Um, another cool thing to note too is that actually the story element of this game, as well as the TV show, Ben will be jump or actually Rook will be jumping, jumping through time. So actually, not only will you be, you know, tagging along as Ben as a 16-year-old, but actually he'll go back in time when Ben was 10 years old. So you'll have two Bens that Brooke will be working with. Oh, and, that's cool. Yeah. And, um... Oh, what, uh... Also, Rook, uh, also, Rook will actually have a very cool weapon called the Proto Tool. Not in the demo right now, but the Proto Tool, look at it as a Swiss Army knife of all weapons. So that weapon can basically transform into a melee weapon, to a projectile blaster, or to a grappler. So uh, I saw when you used the D-pad that it showed the four aliens you could select from. Is that all you could choose from, or is there going to so be this, different elements? So this is a quick switch menu. All right. So what you can do is, as you unlock characters in the game, you know, you'll be un you'll unlock all 13 alien characters in the game. Once you've unlocked them, what you can do then is you can take these alien characters and, and customize them onto your quick switch menu. So okay. You'll be able to quick switch into four aliens at the same time. Now, if you don't, if, if your favorite alien character is not in that set, then you can go back in, put them in the menu, and then go back into the at, game. At any time during the pause at, menu? Any, at any time. And certain puzzles I see require certain aliens, so yep. you can't rely on the same alien over and over and over correct. again, correct? Each, each, each alien character has a unique attribute. So for instance, Heat Blast obviously, you know, can manipulate and deal fire, you know, so he'll be good against, you know, ice-type enemies. Shock Squatch, obviously, he can short-circuit any electrical-type enemies. And now, he's also, like, big, and I saw you need him to use a moving object, correct? Yes. So bigger characters, larger characters tend to move heavier objects in the, in the game. So that's the other puzzle element we have. And I see that, uh, is there a sort of, sort of meter to tell you how long it is till you run out of power for yeah. the monsters? So if you look at the Omnitrix meter right there, you'll notice that actually it's filled up. But as you perform moves, it actually drains. So if you drain the Omnitrix, you turn back to Ben, right? You turn back to Ben and you have to wait for it to recharge until you're able to go alien again. So you have to be smart with each move you, you use? Absolutely. All right. Now, if you'll notice too, you'll see these little red orbs you gather. Those are those, that basically builds up the XP meter. Once you've built that up and you've updated your XP, you've uh, filled up your XP meter, you'll be prompted to basically uh, level up one of your characters. So what the player can do is that he can choose his favorite alien character, update them, and actually level up their moves. So, so it basically, can, unlock more. It provides combo more sets. variety of combos. Yep. All right. So, uh, we should see this around what time? Uh, this fall. This fall? This fall. And, uh, once again, Xbox 360, Wii, PS3, DS, and Nintendo 3DS. Yes, and one other thing to note, uh, 3DS and DS versions, the portable versions, 
2.5D action side scrolling adventure. Two exclusive alien characters on that version uh, Crash Hopper, brand new alien character from uh, Omniverse, and Upchuck. And what, th what options for the 3DS are you going to have? I know you're only demoing the Xbox 360 version, but. Uh, to be to be to be disclosed <laughs> later at a later date. Okay. But we will definitely be taking advantage of all of many of the features that the 3DS has to offer. And uh, you, I'm assuming uh, the the co-op is online. Uh, again, to be to, we to will be disclosed more. At a later all right. Day. Thank you. You're welcome.